So Callaghan Innovation supported the IoT Hackathon, especially due to its close association with the University of Auckland. In particular, the University of Auckland has an Industry 4 lab, uh, which in includes IoT and augmented reality. We see Industry 4 as really important for the New Zealand businesses, as it uh, really sets them up for increased productivity and opens up new business models as well. What we're helping to do is to bridge that gap between what the technology can do and what people need it to do. The way I see it is our biggest challenge is not what's the capability of the technology because that's actually very well understood. It's actually the closing the gap on the business case and the business model and showing people that technology is lower risk than what they might perceive it to be. It's faster to deploy than they might realize and to actually encourage New Zealand economy and society as a whole to realize what IoT can do in connecting the real world to solve problems for people. This hackathon has uh, some really interesting businesses. Some seem to be looking at uh, a product and some seem to be looking at uh, internal processes for example. All of these businesses are getting an opportunity just to try without actually having to commit a whole lot of money to it. Guardian Bansels is really interested in adding value to our customer experience and seeing, exploring how we could use augmented reality to make our saw a more valuable saw to our customers. And that was really around uh, reducing downtime by enhancing the owner's ability to maintain their own saw. Because our saws are in a lot of remote places uh, and we have limited ability to service them closely, uh, the more we can empower the plant to look after the saws themselves, the better the product will be for them. So that was, that was a real catalyst for us and I'm really pleased with the outcome. You know, the students have really taken that concept on board and, and clearly demonstrated the solution I was expecting, which is this, this real walk through interaction with a saw. Uh, I was really impressed with, with what, what could be achieved in such a short amount of time. It's really good. Yeah. I think the hackathon is actually a, a really valuable way of addressing how to use technology. Um, we're kind of used to doing long projects of experimentation and assessment um, and development, but the hackathon approach is a really nimble, low cost, fast way of assessing a technology and actually trialing out is a solution viable or not, and a way of connecting developers and the industry who need solutions. Um, it, it closes those bridges really rapidly. So we can then say, okay, is, is this viable to continue working on without spending huge amounts of time or money on something? I've seen the students go through day one looking at the problem and actually hearing that they've talked to the business um, and actually understanding what are some of the, the key areas and issues they've had so far, um, not only for the business but also the operators that actually use the machines for instance and then um, articulating that, creating a solution not only for the business but also the people that are going to be using it or uh, the business's customers as well. So the hackathon I thought was a, a great approach because it, it sort of epitomises the whole agile software development. You know, do something quickly, either fail quickly or succeed quickly and, and just try something, get something out there. So from my point of view I see the, the potential value and I see it's worth investing some more, more time and effort and money into getting a solution, like I say, that adds value to our customers. So, yeah, I think the hackathon approach is, is really valuable and it's also showed to our software guys, you know, who are maybe a little bit sceptical, this is what can be achieved. This is the technology as it is now and I can already see the value to our customers. So, you know, let, let's, let's jump on this, it'll be great. It's a really interesting uh, variety of use cases and applications we saw and um, some really different solutions that came out. So although there was, we saw IoT and Industry 4 and AR, there's some quite different applications that were done um, from some uh, very simple task flow management through to using AR to uh, really fixing some uh, challenging problems that haven't really got any other way to be solved and with potentially hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of payback on single projects. I think other companies should really consider it strongly to, to, to you know, just, just take a punt. You know, it's not a lot of money, uh, not a lot of time either, and, uh, and get good, good support from, from the industry partners. Uh, and, and that just adds value you know, to everybody. You know? uh, 
I can't see a downside to, to being involved in this sort of a project. Yeah, it's, it's, it's really good. Yeah.